In this video, I'm going to show you how to sort by month, both alphabetically and chronologically, using the month and month name functions. Here's a question I get asked a lot. How do you sort a list of records by month? Okay, whether you're doing birthdays and you want to sort them, you know, get all the Januaries together, all the Februaries together, or you're doing anniversaries or whatever. It doesn't matter what the year or the day is. You just want all the people from the same month together. So we're going to start off by isolating just the month from each customer's date, whatever date it is. If you look here in my customer table, for example, I got a field called customer sense that represents the date that they started being a customer, the date you put them in your database. It could as easily be a birthday or an anniversary or whatever. So let's say I want to sort these by the month so I can send out, you know, uh, a sales card or a thanks for being a customer so long. It's your fifth anniversary kind of card, right? All right, let's make a query. Create. Query design. I'll bring in my customer table. And I just want to see the customer ID, first name, and last name. And let's bring in that customer sense field. Where are you at? There you are. All right, so that's what I got so far. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is pull out just the month. So to do that, I'll use the month function. Going to create a new calculated field. All right, I'm going to zoom in so you can see better. Shift F2. All right, I'm going to call this field M, and it's going to represent the month of whatever field it is. Customer sense, just like that. Hit OK. And of course, since I don't have any spaces in my field names, Access puts those brackets around there for me automatically. That's OK. All right. Now, if I run that, you can see this represents just the month portion of that date. Right? That's the month function. And that's why we don't use words like month or day or year as our field names because those are reserved words. Okay, There's a whole big long list of them on my website. I'll put a link down below if you want to see them all. Now, if I wanted to sort by the month chronologically, okay, I could come in here and sort ascending. And now when I rerun this, it doesn't matter what year they're from. I got all the ones together, all the twos together, and so on. And if you did want to sort by this, then by this, so that if you do have two from the same year, for example, they show up in chronological order after that, just switch their order, right? Put the M first and then customer sense, and you can sort that ascending after it. All right, so we'll sort by this. And if you got two that are the same year, let's see if we have any. Uh, now, they're the exact same date, though. Let's change this one so it's 10-10 from 2003. Let's rerun the query. All right, 2003. See, yep, 10-2, 10-10. Okay. Now, some people have asked if they could sort it alphabetically based on the name of the month. All right. So you want like April on top, for example. Okay. In order to do that, we can use the month name function. All right. Let me zoom in again. All right. MN month name is going to be month name. And then it wants a number from one to 12. So give it M. That's the number we already figured out from over here. Right. Run it. And there you go. And if you want the abbreviation, you can either take the left three characters of that using the left function or month name has a second parameter. If you say comma true here, it'll abbreviate. All right. So run it now. And there you go. Now, if you want to sort based on this, you can't just come in here and turn sort ascending on here and turn it off over here because watch what happens. They get enter parameter value. See that? That's because at the time you're trying to sort this, this hasn't been evaluated yet because it wants to do this first and it doesn't know what M is. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes things that work normally don't work once you put other stuff on other conditions or criteria or sorts. All right. It's just all the way that access evaluates stuff. So what you have to do is. We're going to take what M is this month customer sense, right? Just copy that. Come over to the month name function, and instead of relying on getting M here, delete that and just paste that in there. So it's going to evaluate the month of customer sense first, then send that number to the month name function, and there is your month. Okay? Now we can get rid of this guy, or leave it if you want to see it's there still. And now remember, you got to move this to the left, right? Because it sorts left to right. And now run it, and there you go. You're sorted alphabetically by the name of the month if that's what you want and if those are matched up it'll sort by that
Okay. See how that works? Pretty straightforward stuff, right? I cover lots more with working with time and date functions in my Access Expert Level 27 and 28 classes. We go over all kinds of different date functions, how to work with them, how to display numbers like ordinals, all kinds of different stuff. There's lots and lots of stuff. There's like four hours of the material on just date and time functions. So check it out. I'll put a link down below. And if you have any questions, of course, post them in the comments section. Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. How do you become a member? Click on the Join button below the video. After you click the Join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full-length courses found on my website, not just for access, too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a Diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout-out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more, and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website, and you can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.